one off the ground. Besides, instead, he's uh, just going to get out of there, and that is first blood going over to the Rek'Sai top lane. Dudu starting off this game right. Yep, and I think Pina made the right call, not even going over, because you just don't win that 2v2. You're just going to die as well. It was catches the wave. Doran overstays to push it in. On the dragons, and therefore uh, the clouds come up. Does have hold. And yeah, he is going to find it there, as there's no flash on this cow, and I don't think it would have mattered anyway. That is going to be the second kill for the Quantum Freaks this time. Going over to Ball. Really good setup, really good angle to disengage. A lot of ults been from the side of Quantum Freaks. I still think they're in a sp strong spot to contest this. Yeah, because diving on in there is the Nature's Grasp. Now as Ball Killer Instinct, they dive on top of the jungler. And now it is Viper's turn to press his ultimate button. Empress Divide is going to land on both of the tankier members. And now Viper is still trying to do damage, but his frontline is dead. The double knockup from the newly improved Rek'Sai is going to lock up the kill under the cow. And Viper sees these low health bars. Empress Divide onto everyone but Doran. He slips by. And that is going to be the pick up. The trade is for a Corky. For Rakan, and that's gonna dying. be Dudu going down as well. What the heck? Never mind, it's not Dudu going down. Doran died, but Dudu, it's, it's impossible to kill this Rek'Sai, I guess. He also actually went cut down in his. Oh, it does go wide. There's the pulverized flash, and Quantum is just gonna get eviscerated. There is a nice ulti connecting that snare onto Bulldog, but it's not oh. enough. He finds three with the Empress Divide. Still, Viper is offering damage back, and now it's Doran's turn to try and be immortal in that front line. Delight once again. It's a big pulverized though, is now right back over the wall goes Dudu, and he's taking that. Oh, what the heck? Okay, well, he is going to fall now as the Void Rush did come through, and it's a double kill for Zekka. Hamalife Esports, just so much more control in these team fights, and there's the Valkyrie on top of Bull. No killer instinct is going to be enough to get you out of that one, and there is a pentakill on the table here for Zekka if they can corral Cuz and Bulldog underneath this outer turret, and I think they might look for it, even though he's exceedingly low. No. Probably just going to be a full house. Zekka's full of Vipers, unless he can get the four of a kind. Zekka comes on over, but no, there's that full house that we're talking about. That is going to be the clean ace. Yeah, and I do want to mention just Vipers also got the action. As now Quantum looks for that backline. Massive knockouts come through as well. The flank angle is gorgeous. They've taken down the Zeri, but is that going to be enough? Because Zekka is still basically at full health and they're being torn to shreds. It didn't matter. They got their target. And there's still a Corky! I feel like Viper gave himself up for that one. Quantum is going to emote, but then he's immediately going to go down. A trade of 80 carries is now Doran. He's looking to get in amongst it. Bulldog Empress divides the air, and that is going to spell the end of this team fight. It is as Dudu trying to get into that back line, but now Viper, he has everyone behind him. The bottom lane has been torn apart once again, and Cuz is running the wrong direction, doesn't have any teammates, and somehow that massive ride that Peanut just went on was absolutely the right thing to do. Yeah, a little bit of an oopsie there from Delight, but Peanut's there with a follow-up. They start the fight, and it kind of just feels like at this point... Yeah. And now these minions are knocking on the front door of Quantum Freaks, and uh, the Nature's Grasp coming out once again especially with that Frost Armor is okay. Yep, yep, ridiculous. Very true. Empress Divide just to get rid of Peanut. Viper says that that's his opportunity to just go in. Both of these carries just tearing holes in Quandong Freaks ev with every single ability. And this Nexus is not going to be long for the world. They'll grab a couple of kills on their way out, but Hum Alive, it was difficult in the early game, but they're going to be too upset with how things went. A lot to work with moving towards game number two. Another opportunity to dive into game number two. The flash forward, I'm done. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit of a worry, but yeah, they take a couple, was... a couple of turret shots and they're going to be okay. Let's see whether this one is going to be a little bit cleaner. Is that handshake absolutely fantastic from Quantum? Quantum Freaks fans going nuts here as well from this play here. And now Delight finds the Shattering Strike, and now the tree is making their way forward. Ignite ticking down onto Quantum. He flashes, but I don't think it's going to be enough to flash forward for Peanut. He takes a turret. casual turret shot. There's the instant bailout as well. He certainly is. There's the flash knockup as Doran going to get permanently frosted. And we'll just be taken down here because tanking up a couple of turret shots. But he, of course, is very happy to do so. Find that one pretty comfortably. Oh, they're looking. Yeah, there's a flash forward. Instant cleanse from Bull is fantastic, but still that is two summoner spells. Now Nature's Grasp coming on through. This Alcove Gaming not going to work out for Quantum as this time he will be taken out. No bailout for you. And Viper collects the first kill for Hummer Life Esports because, yeah, um, I think that uh, Doran might be dead. Yeah, fine. Uh, okay, Magnus Storm to come forward. And there is Zekka finding the Emperor's Divide. It's a double kill for Delight. Um, so
suboptimal, I guess, as far as giving the kills over, but Zekka still collects himself the assist, and that is a two for one. He tries to blast Kona away, but it's not going to work out, and the early game power of this Rek'Sai is working. Peanut does have Flash, uses it to get... Oh, all right, there's a big old Magnus Storm. They're looking for Bull here as Viper throwing down the Burst Fires. The Flash out there from Bulldog with the Flash over the wall, and Viper locks down the kill. Goodbye, Stax! As now Quantum, he's now found himself in a very awkward position. Cuz just comes over and... Hilarity just gonna have breathed on a couple of times. And that is just more free food going on over this time. It's gonna be lapped up by Bulldog, his first of the game. Four people down here. Let's see whether they can hold Dudu in place, though, as they lose. They miss every single button. They do find that one, though, as he is gonna breathe his way out of it, wants to be able to take Peanut with him to the Shadow Realm, but it's not going to work. Spin. There we go, 188 for the Dragon. As, all right, Dudu just gets all the way in amongst it. He's now by himself, has to flash just to secure the dragon, or is it? As they push both carries right into the middle of the battle. And Viper is able to lock down one. Zekka gets another. Cuz is now just running away, as there is nothing they can do about it. Dragon is secured by Hummel Life Esports as well. And it is another mid-game team fight that Hummel Life just... Champions that don't really want to get kills. Now Zekka is just going to find Bolt. Clips him with just the edge, and nice. that is going to be Viper locking oh that one God. down. Oh, man. Well, he's got 71 stacks now. Man, the amount of stacks lost this game? Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Um, it's almost equal to the amount gained, as now Magnus Storm is going to be flashed into Bulldog. He's going to be taken down. Look at Viper. He's just hanging out. He's just finding targets. He's under no threat at all. Quantum is going to be ran down. No bailout for you, and that is going to be now Baron secured for free by Hummelife. He's under a lot of threat, and Dudu is going to be able to lock down that kill in the end. But now Viper will make his way back in. The ulti is now running. Dudu is extremely tanky, but Delight is just trying to play bouncer. Oh. As Viper the skate out of the way once again. And Zekka is going to be able to finally get this kill on the Rex side. No honey fruit for you. And now it is mid lane versus mid lane. And uh, Zekka's going to call a support because he doesn't want a fair fight. That is a double kill for the Azir. It doesn't actually matter. I guess they've just got enough right here. As Zekka's found a Draven once again. He's put into the sky and then eliminated immediately. Dudu doesn't even look tanky anymore. And Bulldog, he and she's not going to win this game either. Well, now that is a big ulti. Absolutely beautiful observation work there. As Doran, uh, uh, he's going to uh, die to the okay. turret. There it is. Um, Still, Bulldog takes most of his health bar and damage, just incidentally is what it feels like, as Hostile Takeover is taking over nothing. And Peanut does die, uh, and Bulldog is just going to get torn to shreds. There it is, and the Nexus goes down. Weird. I think last game felt terrible oh for Kaisa. Oh god, out this game. damage. Yeah, there it is, there's the flash, and Bull is in so much trouble. He's just dead. Uh, the Rend is going to come in whenever Viper would like to press the button, and there it is. Uh, there is a Hex Flash and a Rocket Grab as Quantum's just dead, punched in the noggin. And that is going to be a second one going over to Hummel Life Esports. Now it is Peanut getting accelerated. and he was Because um, they are not having a good time in this Blitzcrank. I've now they're seen off. this one before as... All right, let's see whether Doran is going to be... No, he can't. he can't even press his buttons as Cuz is going to have to flash to avoid dying to the turret. But is still going to avoid giving money over to Doran, which is, doesn't often really impact the outcome of the game, as there's another hook to connect on to Quantum. Fate's Call to come down as well. The double knockup does come in, and Viper does get the auto attack into the air. Viper respecting Bull's ultimate, because of course that execute damage has been stacked up. And Zek is resetting, but does have TP. Oh. Doran is able to actually press the R button uh, this time around as Dudu back underneath the turret. I'm not sure about that one. He takes another turret shot and he's able to survive. That was beautifully navigated. Now the team fight is going to break out, but unfortunately, I think that maybe that charm didn't work out. Still not going to matter as Cuz does go down. Zekker is going to absorb the essence and he grabs yet another charge. It is two kills in the fight, and despite Doran's best efforts... Oh! oh! The flash isn't enough, as Bulldog's also going to be taking down another fantastic charm from Zekka. But Dudu waits for a cooldown to goes in, and now he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, That's what you get for having fun. Yeah, Doran just calls, uh, called his cousins. They're kind of flipping the game. Oh, oh. no, Bull taking so much damage here, he's just taken out! Two versus four? And now I guess it's two versus three as Zekka will get breathed on another charm, and there is the hook! 
I mean, Playoff Zeka just hits different, man. He is so incredibly good, playing amazingly today. Cease and desist onto Bulldog. Another charm, of course. That's a targeted ability today. It's going to feel so smooth, though. Well, here's a bit of an engage from Cuz. Finds a Magnet Storm, but it lands only onto Peanut. And he is pretty tanky. Zeka going to have to use his ultimate to get himself out of here. Just somehow back up already. Yep, of course. Uh, it's just the way that things are. Malignant's doing its job. As I think he may be dead, guys. Um, yeah, he's given a ball. He has to get a kill. Yeah, he has to. Oh, he's not going to get it. Um, <laughs> Tudu didn't even try. Uh huh. Well, um, he's going to get hooked. Uh, can they keep him in? in yes, they can. He's dead. Uh, Viper going to be able to pick that one up. Foregone conclusion. What? Made sure that he uh, hopped over the wall. That's a lot of extra money. That might be the only person on Contra Freaks who's actually worth gold <laughs> at this point. Yeah. At least all gold. He's going to arrow. Yeah. Hook, oh. gonna connect, waits for the crash down, and Cuz can't move out of that one, but still does make it back to relative safety. Speaking of safety, there's a Fates call as now Doran diving on top ball. Whirling Death not really doing anything here, and Zeka picks up the first reset. The ulti does barely anything as Viper trying to keep himself alive. He's going to survive it. The hook is gonna go wide, but it does not matter. No one dead on the side of Hummer Life Esports. The Void Rush will spell oh. the end, and there's the flash charm because, of course, it's going to land. The ace comes through. That one's clean. And Hummer Life Esports are marching oh, up mid. Could be POG the series, because he's had such a fantastic one. No, I would agree. Um, I do think that he probably deserves it for this one. Um, just hitting all of the charms that he has. In goes Peanut, finds Cease and Desist onto Quantum. They'll take him down first. There is more Essence just lapped up, and it's a double for Zeka, the man we were just discussing. They'll turn this into a Baron. Um, if you want to keep your base alive, probably sub suboptimal. As Delight Hex flashes, oh. manages to find the Ash max range. Now everybody else dives over. That's going to be the knockup on the cars. He's taken down first. Zeka grabs another one, angles the Orbit Deception beautifully. And the Whirling Death is kind of whirling meh at this oh. point in time. There's the Cease and Desist on a Bulldog. He was looking to just try and escape this bulldozer that is home alive. Double kill for Viper in the end, and this will be the end of the game. Absolute decimation. It felt like in the first game, they were kind of finding their footing, kind of testing the water with Quantum Freaks, and game three is an absolute stomp. 0-11-0 for the bot lane of Quantum Freaks. I'm only hoping Quantum gets away. Oh, 0 dear. 12 0. It has been quite a gap. I don't think, I mean, a lot of people expected it, but uh, Hot Life Esports are reminding us why they are one of our top teams. Delight just waiting for that hook to come off cooldown. Cuz is going to get missed by that one. Tries to pull a few in and. Oh, God. You know, this game was shorter, so it's not as bad, like, compared to everyone he else. He wasn't out damage.